Guys, you take a permaculture design course, you go through the soils class, you learn a ridiculous amount of information, you do your own study, and you get back to permaculture designer's manual, flipping through here, page 186, you have this amazing, super complicated looking graph. What is that? That is the USDA's soil texture triangle. So what in the world is a soil texture triangle? Well, it is not a triangle to be concerned about. It's pretty simple to understand and the reason it is there is so we can take something simple like that mason jar test that we're always doing. We can use that, get our percentages of sand, silt, and clay, and we use those percentages to then properly identify them into a category that the USDA will um, classify and recognize. Then we can use that, um, that wording of the classification to further like maybe go on to talk to geo-environmental engineers or whatnot if you're wanting to build a pond or, or a dam. So let's go over it. Okay, looks very complicated, but in actuality, it's really simple. They've already put down the blueprint for it. You just have to fill in what is what. So let's look at this. This side of the triangle is clay, and this side is silt, and this side is sand. And if you notice, we start here, it starts at 10, up to 100, and then 10, down to 100, and then 10, across to 100. So it's kind of this like triangle-y circle. Let's look at this soil type. If we get close up on it, we can see that it's about 60% clay there at the top. And then underneath that, you'll see an additional 20% of silt. And below that, it's 20% of sand. It's very difficult to see, but you can see the structure changing as you get close to it. And they're all very similar color. So how do we reflect those? How do we reflect those numbers onto this chart? Okay, clay side. We're at 60%, so 60% is right here. We're gonna move horizontal like this, All right? So the clay is on this side and it moves horizontal. On the silt side, we're at 20, so it starts here. This one goes down on a diagonal path like that. On the sand side, we're also at 20, and this one goes up. So where these intersect, boom, it's in this whole piece of the graph here that's clay. So we can safely say that the soil type in this mason jar test that we have done ends up being a clay soil. Let's do one more. This one is about 30% clay, 50% silt, and 20% sand. So here we are, we're at the 30% clay, and we'll come across like this. The 50% silt, down, and the 20% sand. Boom, right here. This one is right in between the silty clay loam and the clay loam, like right in between right there. So that has uh, almost a dual classification, but you can classify it now in one of the categories that come with the USDA's soil texture triangle. You guys are awesome. Make sure to check out schoolofpermaculture.com. Check out our uh, Facebook page, come and like us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and by the way, right now, just play some air guitar. You get a free one every time you come to class. It's amazing. I got a whole um, like house full of them. Uh, know that the proceeds from both of those go to our aid and our orphanage work and where we invite you to come out with us and hang out and just love on people and help them uh, using the tools of permaculture. You guys are awesome, we love you, and we'll see you next time.